Hello, my name is uh, Hello, my name is Mike Mike Teeter, the pastor of New Destiny Community Church in Denver, North Carolina. More importantly, I'm the husband of Melissa Teeter and the daddy of Caleb Henry Teeter. He's going to be two years old this Thursday. I cannot believe it's been two years and my son is turning two. Time flies. And, uh, and then my daughter, she'll be six next month. She's already talking about her birthday. So I just want to share for just a few minutes. In the background, I have a song called He Knows My Name. And, uh, you know, I just wonder for each one of us, uh, each one that, that's watching right now, thank you for tuning in. And those who had watched the recording, something just been on my heart. And, and, and this has been a while, but even more so recently. Why do we do things? Uh, are we doing it to please God or for man? Are we doing it to have our name in lights and be recognized or get a thank you? Are we doing it just simply because it's what we should do? It's what God would want. You know, I've seen over the last couple of days that uh, a, a local restaurant uh, uh, owner uh, had a customer, and a, I don't know if the customer had a difficult time, but apparently it's a good re restaurant as far as the food, and, and he put a post on social media that he probably should not have. Well, may I tell you that uh, he's gotten blasted on, on the Internet but you know, I was thinking today is, you know what? None of us are righteous. No, not one. We have all messed up. And thank you. I see uh, Leo on there. Thank you, Leo, for watching for a few minutes. One of my former youth. I see Hope. I married uh, Hope and Wesley just a, a week and a half ago or nine days ago. Hope, uh, uh, oh, praise God. I'm ex I'm still excited. She, her and Wesley, uh, their marriage is uh, <laughs> marked with the cross. Amen, in the name of Jesus. So listen, if we would do one thing every day, instead of worrying about what people think, let's think, what does God want? And so in just a moment, I want to share just a few scriptures. And this is for me, it's for all of us. Sometimes I wonder, think about what people think. But really, I want to know, what does God want and obey Him fully? I was telling Caitlin, or Caitlin heard about a... We have a, a neighborhood issue where we have two entrances and they're building two or three more houses. Well, long story short, there's a local neighbor that was getting a little upset. People driving fast. He chased down somebody and beat them up. And uh, how I know, uh, two wrongs don't make a right. And we shouldn't go and take the law in our own hands. Instead, we should love, we should pray and see what we can do in a right way. And uh, and so anyways, uh, thank you, Hope. Uh, uh, I just want to let everyone continue to pray for Hope and uh, Wesley. I'm believing that God's hand is on their marriage, and I'm praying for marriages and homes uh, for people that I know. But uh, I'm praying for, I saw Leo was on here a few minutes ago, and, and others. How many know that it it's not easy to live our own lives, but but just in marriage and family, we got to be... 100% in, determined. So I want to share just a few scriptures. And uh, if, if you get a chance, listen to my message from Sunday. It was from Isaiah 61, Beauty for Ashes. And I shared a good illustration at the end about Monopoly. And forgive me, I've had a sinus infection for a couple weeks. I'm feeling a lot better. But if you'll notice on Sunday, that was my first time ever preaching with a runny nose. But uh, I made it through. And it was uh, it went it was exciting it was excellent I washed a little bit when I was putting the recording on, but listen to these if you got a pen or a pencil I know Alyssa I know you probably do but write down some of these scriptures these are good reminders Galatians 1:10 for I for am I now seeking the approval of man or of God or am I trying to please man if I were still trying to please man I would not be a servant of Christ. How many we know? What is it? Second Corinthians five seventeen. I'm a new creation in Christ. I'm brand new, and if we're brand new, listen, we're a servant of Christ. Listen, I was telling Caitlin, my almost six year old daughter, that leadership is Jesus turned it upside down. It's not the one that has the most servants. It's the one that is serving. It's the one that is choosing to be a servant. What did Jesus do? He got down and washed feet. And so listen, if we want to be a leadership in a spiritual sense, in a, in a God sense, what should we do is not ask, how are people going to bless me? No, instead, ask God, how can I be a blessing to others? I was telling Caitlin, how am I the, the leader of my home? 
I need to be the one that, that serves and be the biggest servant and, and serve my wife Melissa, serve my son Caleb, serve Caitlin. How am I a leader at church? Is it by, you know, pointing and giving, uh, you know, hey, do this, do that? No, it's by being a servant. It's by caring. It's about praying and loving those that, in, our, in my church, in my family. <coughs> Another scripture, listen to this. Proverbs 29, 25. The fear of man lays a snare, but whoever, listen to this, catch this. If you catch this hope, if you catch this Alyssa, if you catch this crystal, <clears throat> but whoever trusts in the Lord is safe. Whoever trusts in the Lord is kept safe. I see Hannah coming on and and maybe go back, watch the rest. But whoever puts their trust in the Lord, listen, I tell Caitlin and Caleb and Melissa, my wife, that we live by faith. We do what God says. We, we don't want to just pray a miracle when we haven't been doing God's Word. But as we do God's Word, we put it into practice. Listen, we are people that believe in miracles. Caitlin Teeter is a miracle child. They told us we couldn't have children. We have Caitlin. We, they told us we couldn't have any more children. We have Caleb, two wonderful children. <clears throat> A couple more verses, two more I'm going to share. Write these down. Write them down. Colossians 3.23 Whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord, not for men. Listen, I should be serving, doing my day job and my preaching job and my, my daddy job and my husband, being a husband, unto the Lord. Listen, when you... You're at school. I tell Caitlin and Caleb, man, give your best at school. Hannah, you, you and your your sister and your friends, man, give give the God your best at school when you're when you're learning. Man, absorb, learn. One more verse, and then I'm gonna uh, stop. Acts five twenty nine. But Peter and the apostles answered, "We must obey God rather than men." I was talking to Audrey Gunn, Pastor Gunn's wife from Lake Wiley Christian Assembly a few days ago last week and we were talking that you know sometimes people will show up sometimes they won't and all this but when when you're you're called when you're anointed Isaiah 61 and Luke 4 talks about uh, G Jesus even said uh, uh, he has anointed me to preach good news well listen every one of us have a calling and an anointing for, what, uh, for our gifts and talents that He has for us. And when we have that kind of unction, when God puts that purpose in our lives, we can't be quiet, we can't stop, we have to be determined, we can't allow people to get us off track, we just have to be full force, obeying God, doing what He says, not allowing situations, not allowing uh, people, naysayers. Listen, there are a lot of critics in our lives, a lot of critics when they see you trying to do something that hasn't been done, when they see you try to do something and you stub your toe or you don't succeed instantly. So listen, so listen, understand this. Just because it's a God thing doesn't mean that's going to happen instantly. You know what? When it's a God thing, we still have to keep trying, keep learning, keep growing. Philippians 1 6 talks about that, that He will continue the work that He has begun in our lives. <coughs> so listen. Keep trying, keep growing, and don't worry about naysayers. Yes, learn from uh, teachers, learn from preachers, learn from those that have gone before us. We can learn from friends, but don't allow them to get us off track. Uh, listen to the voice of God. Listen, I've been praying. I'm going to pray this in just a moment over everyone that's watching and those that will watch. When I've been tucking my daughter Caitlin into bed after I've read and gone over some scriptures, I say, demons, every stronghold out of this room in the name of Jesus. And then I begin to pray angels. I say, not just an angel. I say, angels, fill this room, fill my daughter's room in the name of Jesus. And I'm praying that for each one for my life, but for each one that's watching and will watch. Listen, there is spiritual warfare. And what we need in the church and in our lives is not a better song or a or a better sermon, or a better, we need Jesus. We need revival. We need the fire of the Holy Spirit. And so I'm going to pray right now, and uh, thank you for tuning in. You can look at the sermon from Sunday. You get a chance, New Destiny Denver on YouTube, or newdestinydenver.org.org.
Let's pray. Thank you for tuning in once again. Lord God, I pray right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray over my life, but I pray for, for Hannah. I pray for Alyssa. I pray for Crystal. I pray for, for each one that's watching and will watch later. Lord God, I pray right now for a true move of God. I pray right now for miracles in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord God, that you would do things that would be you, Lord God. I pray that we would be concerned about what you think, what you want, and how you want it. Not what people think, not what the majority would say, but what you say. For as you say it and we move forward, you and us is enough. When David went to Goliath, David ran. It wasn't him and others, and he went forth. And so, Lord God, I pray that would be us. When Daniel began to pray in Daniel 6.10, it wasn't like many others were praying as well. He chose to keep doing what is right. And may we do what is right. May we do and live to please God. And Lord, we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. I pray right now over my life and everyone that is watching that in the name of Jesus, every stronghold be broken, every stronghold of bitterness, every stronghold of unforgiveness, any other strongholds. And I pray for angels, angels, the angel armies of my life and your life in the name of Jesus. And thank you for watching and God bless you.